Well, hey, Leo, what's up? What's going on? How you doing? Welcome into March. This is your reading for March. I'm going to have a little contest here at the channel. Uh, the zodiac sign for March that gets the most likes. I'm going to do a special reading for you. So please do that. I'll check on um, the likes on March 2nd, and then I will do that special reading. How about that? I'm going to be traveling a little bit, so you're going to see a lot of different stuff. <laughs> I know, I know. And there's been some sickiness this week, so. Woo! Much better today, though. Much better today. All right, let's see what's going on for you, Leo. Okay, keep going, keep going, keep going. All right, my darlings. Let's see. Ah, stag spirit, take the lead. Woohoo! Dove spirit, be peace. Not even be at peace, but actually be peace. Crow spirit, co create, co create with spirit. This is just uh, feels like a very solid energy to me. Solid. And there's Aries energy there to the stag taking the lead. But very, it feels very um, grounded and, I don't know, unflappable is the word that comes to mind. You just know that you're on the right path. It's just something about, it's just a knowing. Get the high priestess here, it's definitely. All right, so six of pentacles underneath. Seven of swords, magician. Three of pentacles, page of pentacles, four of swords. Ten of wands. I don't like that seven of swords next to that magician. I got to tell you, um, chariot, hermit, three of cups. Um, my initial re reaction here is that you could be dealing with someone, water sign, cancerian, who is uh, going their own way or doing things that they want to do without talking about it with you. There's the Three of Cups down here. I don't like this. I feel like you're in a good solid space, though, here, because of these cards up here. I feel like you're in a good... You're good, all right? Um, if this person is around you, there's somebody around you who does who just, you know, like, doesn't tell the truth. And then they get upset when you kind of call them out on it. Or this is just the way they think they have to traffic. They have to navigate in the world. Okay. And I feel like you're trying to balance this. I feel like you're trying to work with this person. Six of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles. This could be a work relationship even. But there's somebody around you who's not telling the truth. And it's really their nature. They just don't understand that you can be authentic and real and still be successful or still be, there's something they're hiding. This person is hiding. You see how like you're with the, with the Virgo energy there, you're sort of looking at them like, excuse me, what are you doing? What's happening here? I feel like you see it. You're seeing it, but I don't, I don't feel like you want to see it. You don't want to see it in this person. Very disappointing. It's very disappointing. King of Swords, Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Cups, Queen of Cups. I feel like you think this person is the one for you. It, this totally looks like it to me. Um, you feel like this person is the one for you. And you may be right about that, but they're, they have some bad habits. They don't know how to work together. They've been alone for a long time, so they don't know how to 
collaborate, all right? There's a lot of potential here. And I feel like you want to start off building slowly. But you're, you've done a lot in the past for relationships. You have been the one who's been the giver. And I feel like you're just like not doing that anymore. Okay, that's not happening anymore. Um, I'm going to look at this Three of Cups down here. What is this about? Why is this Three of Cups here? Baggage, Nine of Wands, Fool, Lovers, Judgment, one more please. Tower, oh, Tower Devil, Queen of Pentacles. Oh my goodness. Um, I feel like what's going to happen here, it's going to start off kind of small. This feels kind of small to me. Um, but it's like pulling the thread on a sweater. Okay. Um, this person, because of their past, doesn't trust relationship, okay? And so they want to jump in with you. They jump in with both feet. But then I think there's an awakening, all right? There's a, a real awakening, judgment and tower and devil around their own ability to love. Okay, their own ability to nurture and be cared for, and the the um, they look at it a certain way. It's got to look a certain way. I think they'll jump in with both feet, but then I think they're gonna get cold feet and run away. Okay, and run away, and you're not gonna know why. So I see Virgo and Cancer. Virgo, Cancer, Gemini, Capricorn. I feel like you're both on the same page in terms of wanting this relationship. I don't think that's the issue. I think it gets to a place in the relationship where, you know, it's like everybody loves the beginning, right? Because it's beautiful and fun and everything like that. And then when it gets to be doing work together, that's when this person has an issue. And that's when they sort of look to outside sources for their own, not healing. It's not healing they're looking for. It's like, you know, why does anybody, why do people drink? Why do people gamble? Why do people chase, why do men chase women? Because they fear death, right? That's the thing. They fear getting closed off into a situation where they can't escape. And that's it. So they close themselves off to real love because they're afraid of death. They're afraid of this is it. They're always wanting to believe that there's something better on the other side of that fence. Okay? And what's happening here is you guys are both confronting that you, you both have the same issue. It may have, uh, have presented itself, itself in different ways, but you both have the same issue. And that's why you're together, or that's why you're coming together, is you're both working to heal this. They, how they behave in it is they run away. You may, you know, dive into work or something like that. And it's really all about wanting to feel nurtured and loved and not, and that somehow feels like death somehow feels like trapped or I'm, I'm stuck or I'm, I'm, you know, I can't get away from it. It feels very claustrophobic. Some of you may actually have claustrophobia around, you know, around relationship or something like that. It may actually feel like that, like the oxygen, like, oh, I can't breathe. And so I feel like this jumping in with both feet is going to, it's like, this seems small to me, like when you, you know, 
one one step at a time you get in and then there's these little bumps but after a while because this person kind of goes back to a third party or something like that there's a okay we're in it and then okay big blow up right it's like there's no there's small and then there's big and the small thing is really just the same manifestation as the big thing it's just in terms of magnitude they're building a house behind my house um so i do feel like you're going to have the potential to have kind of a big blow up with this person especially when you kind of shine a light on what they're doing and you call them out it might seem fine but and then you jump in with both feet but then there's a bigger blow up later okay so i'm going to continue on with this let's see where we go i will look at capricorn uh, Capricorn, Gemini, Virgo, Cancer. Yes. Okay. Link is below for you for the extended. I'll see you over there.